What up, your boy Dre here, 103 Fighter Beat Miami, iHeartRadio. I got two very special guests right here. Yes, you know what I'm saying? What's up? I do JD McCrary, the voice of Young Simba, alongside Shahadi, right, Joseph, the voice of Young Nala. Yes. Yo, thank you guys so much. And before I, before I uh, continue, JD, I know your, bro your born day is coming up soon. So yes. My, my born day? Your yeah. birthday? Your day of your birth? I thought you said your the born day. Your born day, your day yeah. of birth. You know yeah. what I'm saying? My birthday is coming up, and it's in three days. That's right. Yeah. What a great way to kick off your birthday with like, I know, right? Yes, sir. Film. It you know is. Saying? That's a great birthday gift. <laughs> That's it a great really present. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you guys working on this movie, you know, with director John Favreau, what was that like? I know he used like the new tech, like the, the, the video game tech, the VR. Yeah. Like what was that like? Like, you know oh. what I'm saying? Uh, well, the first thing that we did before we got into like the real stuff in the movie yeah. um, was we checked out the VR. Mm -hmm. And we saw Pride Rock. We, we saw the watering hole, we saw the elephant graveyard. We saw it all. We saw the mountains. We saw the sights to see in VR. Yeah. So it was super cool. It felt really in my flesh. It was so incredible. Mm -hmm. I mean, you actually felt like you were in the movie. I mean, we are in the movie, but yeah, you actually but like, felt actually like you were immersed in the movie. Exactly. Right, right. Thank you. Um, and you could really see, you know, the elephant graveyard and the watering hole, and what? we were just flying everywhere. Um, and it was really awesome. I think that I would definitely want to do that again, but it was it was just incredible. Like Zazu. Yes, exactly. <laughs> mm -hmm. Flying, flying. But um, so this movie, to me, when it came out, I was like probably about 10. So it was real influential to me when this oh. drops. So to you guys, like how influential is it to you guys like now taking on these roles as young Simba, oh. young Nala? It's like really that. cool taking on these roles. They've been my favorite. They not they've been my favorite. They are my they favorite. They are your favorite, right. Yeah. Exactly. It's my favorite roles. This movie's a classic, so the yeah. big right. part of this is, like, huge. Plus, we've been growing up with, you know, young Simba and young Nala, like, forever. Right. I mean, we weren't even a thought when it came out, but, you know, when I was born, you know, everybody was talking about The Lion King. Exactly. So, it was just, it's a real honor. And you doing, you know, from the Broadway yeah. to this now is, yeah. like, a big thing. And, like, you know, a lot of young girls... Looking mm -hmm. up to you and young guy boys looking up to you guys as like exactly. role models and it's like mm -hmm. it's huge and you know Beyonce, you know, next you're working with her and like right. you know, young Nala, the Beyonce, <laughs> that jumps crazy with you, childish Gambino. That's like amazing vibe right there. So yes, sir. so you know, um lastly, one of my last actually I got probably more than one question, but if you guys had to be any like spirit animal, like what would your your, your spirit animal be? You see, people ask me this question a lot of times, but I've never had a pet. Yeah. I don't really see animals like I that. I owned my first dog when I was nine, but then I got rid of him like six months later. So. Wait, you got rid of him? I was moving. So, oh, yeah. I, I, thought you I didn't just get rid of him, I was leaving, so I had to. <laughs> No. Oh. oh my god. I'm like, oh, put them down. No, no, no. <laughs> no. See, uh, my parents, they would have been like, no, you asked for the dog, so you have to keep you gonna it. You're going to pick up the dog uh, poo all Yeah, you exactly. Um, <laughs> but if okay. I had a spirit animal, I would say, I would say, like, something, something I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. For me. Like, maybe a lion? For me. Good choice. Good choice. <laughs> for me, I'm a Taurus, so. All of my life, I've been surrounded by bulls. Um, bulls. You know, that's right. how I know when I get a job, if I see some kind of a bull. If I see a Chicago Bulls hat. If I see like a bull statue or whatever. I know that I got a job. Um, but I feel like elephants have something to do with me too. I always, people are always giving me- That was me, so all yeah, over yeah. the place. Yeah, yeah, I feel like people oh, are- I see, I, I see bulls, I see bulls, elephants. Like, elephants. I, what's going I feel on? like people are always giving me elephant necklaces. When I was five, for my birthday, my Nana got me this really cute elephant figure, and well, it's, it's all signs gold. Those are signs of like good, like you know, auras. You yeah. Know, my mom keeps them in the crib. When yeah. You walk, you have them certain way when you walk inside the house. So exactly. Yeah. You know what they was like. Doing. When I light the incense on my dresser, like that's where the elephant is, and I'll it just it's always there. It's always there with it me. Is. So I feel like it's either a bull or an elephant. That's what it's got to be. There it is. It felt really all over the place. Right? Yeah, it really was. <laughs> uh, that was so weird. But I would say if I had a spirit animal, I don't have any crazy... <gasps> I do have a crazy story. Whoa. We got I time just, for this. We got time for this. I, just, I need to hear this you story. Gotta, right, speak so fast. I need to hear this story. Speak, speak fast. Um, right. So when I was born, right. um, is, is, isn't there a 
not like a lucky thing. When I was, <laughs> when I was, when I was, when I was a young boy. Oh. oh. Like, isn't that like a lucky thing where if rabbits show up to the like to the window when you're born or I something like so. that? I guess so. I don't, my mama ain't never told me about no rabbits. Yeah. All right, yeah. but there were like 17 rabbits there when Ooh. I was born. What color were they like? I don't know. I don't remember that. My parents <laughs> just told me. Um, so if I had a spirit animal, animal I would say, a cat. I'm just kidding. No, it's a cat. Come on, it's a cat. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. It's a rabbit. I'll say rabbit. It's a rabbit. There you go. Yeah. Okay, yeah. there it is. Well, JD, Shahadi, thank you guys so much. Uh, Lion King dropping July 19th. Yay. Yeah, check thank it out. Thank you so much for having me. Yay. Great film. Happy early birthday. Thank, thank you so much.